Morning guys, today is going to be a very expensive today. Uh, a couple of months ago I booked in with a bit of a body shop to see if a guy can uh, paint my hood uh, for a sort of under the table cash deal and the reason why is, I don't know if you can tell, but take a look at all these stone chips, very bad ones there. And it seems that my hood or my car is susceptible to rock chips. If you have a white car, it doesn't matter because you don't see the chips. But with this blue, uh, it just stands out really bad. Another area that I'm going to get him to take a look at is, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Mm, not with the handles out. Let's see if I'll lock the car. There you go. Is right in here. I don't know if you can see, but there is a white line right there. And initially what I thought that was, uh, was when they waxed and detailed the car for my CPO, I thought it was just a layer of wax or, you know, the car, car schmutz. And uh, apparently what the guy told me when he gave me a quote for painting the front end, was that was actually burnt, like cut into the polish. So when the waxing angle iron, whatever it's called, angle grinder, the waxer, uh, the guy sat on it too long and actually stripped the paint off. So I'm gonna see if he can repaint that. Anyway, let's take a look. Just had a call that the car is ready, so there's only one thing to do. Let's go pick it up. Well, that was uneventful so far. The bicycle lane is gone, and I think I'm up to about 20 kilometers an hour. No one behind me. Ah, traffic. Let's go around the traffic. So the car is actually just right here. That's a good, I don't have to go around traffic. Made it! <laughs> there you go, and it's done. So, as you can tell right here, he got some extra paint and he painted along there to get rid of where the youngster that buffed the car out had actually buffed the paint off. But I think they did a fantastic job. I am now a thousand dollars poorer. Uh, however, I think it was well worth it. So now what I need to do is I need to get some of the protective film on. I did phone around a couple of places uh, ranging from $1,200 to $1,400 just for the hood and the front bumper and uh, I'm gonna go with the $1,200 guy not because he's the cheapest he's actually one of the best in Maple Ridge uh, well known around the Tesla community uh, when I popped in this afternoon because he's right next to the place that just did this um, he had three two model 
three Model 3s there, two white ones and a blue one, same, the sexiest blue. Um, they're ready to put, get film on. So he said he's booking into December right now. We're in mid-October. So I got to be very careful driving this. It's going to be no highway trips. Uh, I'm not going to try drafting behind trucks or anything. And if need be, I will insure the bike and do any trips on the bike, weather permitting. So there you go. The reason why I made this uh, video is if I could do it all over again, from the day that I picked it up, I should have put the $1,200 paint protection film on that day, and I would be a uh, $1,000 richer today if I had done that. So this is a not a warning, just advice for any of you guys that have uh, either a fresh paint job or buying a Tesla, have a Tesla, uh, or any kind of car actually, pay the money, get the paint protection put on, and I think that uh, once I've put the paint, or once they've put the paint protection on the uh, the wrap, I'm actually gonna uh, put some whatever that glass shit is. Anyway, I'll do that. You can watch me do that because I'll mess it up. Oh, will I ever mess it up? Anyway, you take care. Uh, talk to you soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment and all that kind of shit. Cheers. Bye.